Hello, this is Miss Mitchell, and I am going to quickly go over with you guys what an MLA Works Cited page is. We are going to answer two questions in this quick video. What is a Works Cited page, and how do I set up a Works Cited page? What is a Works Cited page? A Works Cited page is a page at the end of your paper that lists each source that you used to help you write your paper and come up with your ideas. If you have cited a source in your paper using in-text citations, it must be in your Works Cited page. A Works Cited page allows your reader to view the resources you use to help you create your research. It helps you avoid plagiarism. Plagiarism usually occurs when a writer or a speaker presents the words or the ideas of another as if they were his or her own. Basically, someone is plagiarized if he or she writes something or includes something in a speech or in a presentation that comes from someone else and does not give credit to that other person. Even if you do not mean to plagiarize, you may still end up doing it if you've presented words or ideas from a source without properly crediting the source. MLA has a set of rules about what your list, what your work cited page should look like and how you should cite different types of sources. Let's review a few of these rules, but remember technology is our friend and it will help us remember these rules. Or if you have any questions, you can always turn to the Al Purdue website or the MLA handbook because those are both fantastic resources to go to for help. We will visit those in a later date. So here's an example of what a works cited page looks like. This is a works cited page. These boxes around the outside are not really part of the works cited page. They're just going to help us um, talk about the different formatting rules of the works cited page. Let's review those. So all works cited pages have a running header. That is up here in the top of your page. It's your last name in the page number. They all have one inch margins just like your MLA formatted paper. Works Cited is capitalized and centered in the top of the page. Each of your resources are in alphabetical order. Here's the alphabetical order. Here this first resource by Allen, second by Baker, third Danhoff, and so forth. You'll notice this last, this one right here, it says historical census br browser. It doesn't have an author's name, but it does, the first letter is an H, so we put it in ABC order according to that first letter. You'll also notice that the second and so forth lines of each entry has a hanging indention. You'll see, here it is, here's the second one, this hanging indention makes it easier for your teacher or for your reader to see and um, tell the difference between each one of your sources. Your font is Times New Roman and it's size 12. Everything is double spaced. So that is how you format your Works Cited page. Now let's look at some of the common citations in their formats that you include on this Works Cited page. So here is a citation template and an example of that template for a book citation. So you referred to a book in your paper, so you need to cite it in your Works Cited page. So that citation, the rule for creating that citation for a book is that it has to follow this format. You have to have your author's last name, comma, your author's first name, period the title of the book in italics, period, the city of the publication, semicolon, publisher, comma, and the copyright year, period. Here's an example of that, and that's how you would cite a book. Here's the citation for a website, author's name, period, web page title in italics, period, the sponsoring organization or institution, comma, the update or last date that the website had been um, updated, the URL, you just cut and paste the URL, 
and the date, the access date that you viewed this website. Now all of this information for creating this website citation should be found on the website. You can either find it at the top of the website page or the bottom of the website page. Sometimes you'll notice that they'll omit authors' names. You may skip that if you cannot find it, okay? Let's look next at the next kind of citation, a movie citation. Now you'll see there's one, two different examples for movie citations here. One is for a movie that you've viewed, that you did not view in line. Maybe you saw it in the theater, maybe you watched it on your TV. But if you did not view it online, this is the format that you would follow. If you did view it on a website, you'll see here there's a section a little different. It says you have to add the title of the website. Here is the template, and here is an example. So that's films. So now a PDF online. A PDF is a digital file that you are citing online. Usually when you do this, you have to cite the PDF based on the type of source that it is. So if you're looking at a PDF book online, you would use the book template, but you would add in that citation that it was a PDF file that you viewed it in. So here's an example. So here's an example of a book that we looked at the PDF online. So you'll see it's the author's last name, comma, the author's first name, period, the book title in quotes, the file type, this is where you would put PDF or maybe Kindle file, the place of the publication, semicolon, publisher, comma, year of publication, and the URL. Here's an example down here of exactly how one of those would look. The last citation we're going to look at is a short story in an anthology, an anthology or a textbook. An anthology is a book that is comprised of, ver of several different stories by different authors, sort of like your textbook. And this is how you would cite a source that was um, a short story or a chapter that was in either an anthology or textbook. You have the last name, the first name, period, the section title, or this would be the chapter or the title of the short story, period, don't miss that period, the end of your quotes, the title of the book or the anthology in italics, period. You're going to look for the editor of the book. That would be on the front cover of the book or on the title page of the book. You're going to include that. Also find the city of the publisher, the publisher, the year published, the pages that your short story or your chapter on, and then you're going to include print because this is a book that you held in your hand. It's made of paper. It's print material. Here's an example of how to do a short story in the anthology. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope this has helped you with your work cited page. If you have any questions, you can always consult Al Purdue's website or you can use an MLA handbook, or as always, you can come in and you can talk to one of the librarians or meet with your teacher. Hope that helps.